All right, what's up, guys? This is Matthew, and this is the Surviving the Tribulation channel. Um, pray for the rapture, but prepare yourselves, your heart, and your mind for the tribulation or to endure however long we have to. So today I'm coming to you with um, uh, another fire video. Last time we did one on uh, toilet paper rolls and putting dryer linen in there, which is a great idea for a starter. Today we got a different idea. Um, before I gave my life to Jesus, I was like a rail rider for 17 years, homeless. And I picked up a lot of what I thought were useless skills doing that, uh, living on the streets for 17 years. But as I'm growing with the Lord, I'm now realizing all of this stuff. There was a reason God had me learn these things. So today what I'm going to share with you, on the streets, people like hobos, basically train riders, they would call this a squat candle because a squat is an abandoned house. Now this candle we're going to build today out of trash will burn for days if you do it right. Um, but we're going to change the name of squat because all things are made new through Christ. Amen? And um, we're new creations and creatures through them. So we're going to call this a survival candle. Okay? So before we start, though, I want to read a quick scripture to you guys. And I know I got some people on this channel that aren't Christians, that are into the prepper. And, and that's fine, um, that you're, you're accessing all the information that the Lord is freely providing. But please check your mind and your heart, because when everything pops off, if you're not prepared spiritually, everything else is a waste. What good is it to gain the whole world and have all this knowledge of survival and burn in hell for eternity? So if you're watching this channel and you don't know Jesus, please reach out to me. Leave a comment. We can talk. We can pray. Uh, I would love to share the gospel with you, the true gospel. And uh, before we do this candle, let's get into the scripture. It's in Luke 12. Uh, verse. Let's start at verse 33. It said, Jesus Christ, the Lord of all, said, Sell what you have and give alms. Provide yourself uh, money bags which do not grow old, a treasure in heaven that does not fail, where no thief approaches nor moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Now here we go, verse 35. Look at this. Let your waist be girded and your lamps be burning bright. So we got to have our lamps on the inside burning bright for Jesus first. Once we got that in line... God gave us a brain, so let us use it. Yes, we have faith and hope that Jesus will rapture us out of here as soon as things get tough. But just in case to be well balanced in all things, let's prepare too. So with all that being said, today is survival candles. And let's get into it. Let me turn the light on real quick. Alright guys, so what I got going on here today, we have two different ways to do survival candles. This is my personal favorite. All you're going to need is a t empty tuna can. You can use a big can like this if you want one to last for weeks. Uh, I'll show you how to do it that method too. But you're going to need an empty tuna can. You're going to need some candles for wax. And here, zoom in on this. You're going to need trash. <laughs> I know, right? Like peeled cardboard, paper... Crumpled up paper, cardboard, and I straight up got like sticks and leaves and grass from my front yard, okay? Now I know this sounds, this all looks very crazy, so let's put it together for the survival candle. I'm going to light this now so it can start to get some wax to form. Uh, the first thing you want to do, it's like Jesus said, is you got to lay a good foundation. So for our foundation and these cans, you want to roll up the cardboard like that and just put it in. Put it in the liner. Here, come here. Grace, please help film better right here. Yeah. Sorry, babe. Put it in the liner. Now we're going to take these strips of cardboard like this, and we're going to roll them up like this real tight. The tighter you pack this, the longer burn you can get out of it. See, look at that. And then sort of let it open up inside there. You can fill the little gaps with little crumpled up pieces of trash here. So you see how I got gaps in the cardboard? I'm going to fill, you know, it's not necessary that you fill all the gaps, but it's nice to have a little something there. Let's, so let's take like a dried leaf. We're going to fill the gaps with some dried leaf, some trash. I mean, guys, you can even, I've used plastic before. I don't recommend using a lot of it, but a little bit of it, because we're going to seal all this in wax. A little bit of it, it burns forever, okay? And, and I know it's not good to do that, but I mean, if you're in a life or death situation and fire and light is crucial... Uh, by all means, do what you got to do. You know what I mean? As long as it falls, you're not breaking uh, God's law or hurting anybody 
or are coming against the Word of God, then amen. You know, you got to do what you got to do to take care of your family. You got to do what you got to do to take care of your loved ones. You know, God, if you're a father or a husband, God has held you accountable um, to look out for that person. So why would you not want to do the best you can do to look out for them? So we're going to take this wax here. Look, you just pour it, right? We're going to pour this wax right into there, all over this trash, okay? Now, press it down, and now we're just going to keep packing. Just keep packing stuff in here. We're going to keep packing. The key is you're going to need a lot of wax, okay? And, and what you do is as you pack these, you put more and more wax. Let's do this, guys. We're just going to pour it like this. You're going to do more and more wax, and when you're done using it, you can literally just take something like a plate or a, a metal, uh, like this, the, anything flat, and you just put it over the top, and it snuffs it out, and it smokes. But see how I'm dripping the wax on there as I'm putting trash and stuff and leaves and things in there? I'm dripping wax. So that's what you want to do. Now, me personally, I like these little tuna cans. These work good, they're very compact, and you can get about, depending on how tight you pack this, you can get about a five hour to a 24 hour burn out of these little tuna cans consistently, okay? If you're putting it out uh, constantly, it might hinder your burn time. Now, as I'm dripping wax, I wanna show you, I got this can here. Now, this is a bigger can, so we're gonna stick to the same sort of theory where we're gonna roll cardboard, but with these bigger cans, you take more leaves, more natural stuff, more um, sticks and grass and pack it so it's cardboard and just sort of stuff it all in there. Look at that. That's going. That's dripping good now. See how it's all melting onto the cardboard and whatnot? You're going to stuff it all in here. Now, these, these bad boys right here, man, you can get these going for like a while. You know what I mean? Um, look at that. So I want you to get a close-up of that. See how I'm saturating it with wax? Just cover everything real good. Cover the leaves. Cover all the little cardboard. And, and as soon as we get all this nice and covered, what we're going to do is we are going to um, give a demonstration for you guys and burn it and show you how it works, okay? So let me get some more little paper to stuff in here while I'm doing this. Okay. Now, like I say in all my videos, you know, and I've already said, I'm going to say it again. If, if you don't know Jesus, all this stuff is useless, basically. You know, he's a, like I, I, I think I mentioned in the one video, Psalms 20, I believe it's verse 5. It says, some trust in chariots and some trust in horses, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. Amen. But it's also foolish for people at the same time to be like, oh, as soon as things get bad, I'm not going to prepare. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to buy food while it's within my power to do so. I'm not going to utilize the free internet to learn free information that could possibly help me in the future. I mean, that's foolish. You know what I mean? So, also, guys, as you're doing the candle thing, notice I'm twisting the candle. And what that does is it creates a heavier wax flow as you start to get down to the end of these candles. It speeds up. Praise God. But you see, I'm catching the candle on fire now, and that's what you want to do, because it ain't, it ain't, and, and, and make sure if you got a wife, you ask her permission before using her best candles, because that's the last thing you need, uh, is to use your wife's best candles to make one of these, okay? So, let's put a little bit more uh, grass in there, and then we'll seal this up, and then I'm going to make a big one. So, as I'm doing this, yeah, look at that, see? You want to get that wax on that grass. and It's like encapsulate. It encapsulates it. That uh, wax is good. So with one hand, I'm going to drip onto the hair. And with the other hand, let's get this one prepared, all right? So. This is the survival candle. Brought to you by the Lord. See, I roll it up. And then open it up inside of there. Let's do it again because this is a big can, so we're going to need a lot in this one. Let's roll it up. Just fold it up. It's real simple. And, oh, you got to stuff it in there and let it ex sort of expand out. It's like a, 
a puzzle. Then look, you're gonna take some scraps, put this in there, stuff it down real good in there. Now let's bring it over here. I wanna take, look at this, I'm gonna take a big quad of dead grass, and stuff dead grass in there as much as I possibly can. Oops, I almost lit that candle on fire already. I wanna wait till we seal it. The more wax you use, the better, okay? Because it's gonna create that more pressure and a longer burn, and that's what you want. You want a long burn out of these things uh, that you can continuously burn off and on for a long period of time. Uh, my favorite, my personal favorite, are this, dried leaves, because you can crunch them up like the powder and just put like dried leaf powder in there that fills all the gaps real good. Now I'm doing a rush job with this because um, I'm filming and I'm, um, I can't, I'm using my phone. My wife is filming me right now and I can't really use my video editing software on my phone. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I can only use the video editing software, the GoPro. So I'm rushing right now. Now when you do this at home, all you need is an empty tuna can and a candle. That's it, guys. You can do this, okay? You can get this prepared, put it in your prep bag. It doesn't cost anything, okay? Uh, take your time with it, though. Don't rush like I'm doing right now. You want to really take your time with this. Make sure you saturate everything nice and good with wax. You want to make sure you get everything nice and covered and fill as many gaps uh, of the cardboard and paper as you can with leaves and twigs and such. Now check it out, we're going to put another roll of cardboard in there, let that open up, let's put in one more in there, okay, sealing it up, and we're twisting the candle to get a better burn out of these things, okay, notice that. Okay, so look at that. See how we have that, that middle layer of cardboard in there? We're going to press it all down nice and tight. We're going to press it. We're going to add some more dead grass, dead sticks. Let's throw some more paper in there. I mean, you can get creative with it, right? Now, keep this in, the, in your mind, too, because when things pop off, if you don't got nothing with you, you can scrounge these kind of resources out of out of nothing, okay? You can find an empty can. You can even use a soda can, cut the top off. Or you can even rip the top off a so aluminum soda can, and you could even use that. I've seen all sorts of different things, people using beer cans and stupid stuff like that. But, um, I mean, this is one of those things that, especially if you live in the north and it's cold weather, you're going to need heat. And if you have any source of fire, say you're down to one or two matches, you can make one of these and like a, use it like a torch, right? You can light it and keep it going for a couple days. So you just made that one or two matches last for a, a more extended period of time. You know what I'm saying? Put, look at Oh, yeah, there we go. Now we're filling it in. Now we're filling. Look at all that wax. Yep. Good job here. Okay. Now let me get something. I don't want to burn my hands up here. I'm going to start to put wax on here. All right. So we we'll wait for this wax to harden now. And we're going to have, that'll, that'll be our first squat candle. Once the wax hardens, press it. Just wait a second. while well, We want to wait to do that, though. And um, actually, it should be good. Yeah, it's good. Okay, so we're going to press it flat, nice and flat. Let me set that there for a minute. Oh, look at that. Hold on one minute, guys. Okay. Let's light it. Alright, so we got... It's, it's, it's speedily done so I could do this video, but you guys get the point. You get the idea. So now, let me get something to snuff it out with. Hold on a minute. Oh, How a, about this? I got a lid right here. Okay, so what you do to light it, you can take the wrapper off and use that as part of the fuel. There it goes. And it's off. You got a squat candle. Now that's going to sit there and that's going to burn for a long time. And the wax keeps it going. 
the wax will keep it going. This right here, because I did such a rush job on this one, um, you're probably going to get, I don't know, I'd be lucky to get like two or three hours burn time out of that. But I, like I said, guys, the tighter you condense these things, the more burn time you get on them. So condense, condense, condense. Now to put it out, what you can do, you just take something flat surface, out. That's it. It's out. Oxygen. Whenever there's a lack of oxygen, it kills the flame, right? Done. All right. So this has been Surviving the Tribulation. This is the survival candle. If the Lord provides time this weekend, I've got some more water prep ideas, uh, videos. And um, remember, if you don't know Jesus, cry out to him now while you have time. Because the days are soon ahead. Well, we are not going to have the freedoms that we currently have right now. May the Lord Jesus Christ richly bless you, and have a good day. Bye-bye.